Hello, and welcome to the 2013 International Kettleball Games, taking place here at F3 Fitness in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. I am the co-creator of the games, Matthew Phillips. Uh, the other creator is Garen Clark, who is currently on stage, and I'll get to all the uh, competitors in a second. I just want to thank Creation Supplements, who is a sponsor, along with the CATS Kettlebell Algorithm Training System and Homedics. Um, this year's games are a two-day event taking place uh, September 14th and 15th. So day one of the event is composed of five-minute sets of jerks, snatches, and the kettlebell medley, which is two minutes of long cycle followed by a minute of squats, a minute chest press, and a minute down-up deadlifts. So something you'll notice as you watch the competition is the competitors putting the bells down. They are allowed to do this, unlike a normal kettlebell competition, where normally you have to rest in a rack position. You're allowed to put the bells down here, uh, catch your breath, and then jump right into it. We're just worried about the total amount of reps you can get in in, time, in your five minutes. And if you feel the need to or need to put the bells down to take a five, ten second rest, you're more than welcome to. So let's talk about the competitors a little. All the way on the right is Garen Clark. He's currently using the double 70s and is not new to kettlebell sport. He's been doing it for three to four years. I may be undercutting him in a little. Sorry about that, Garen. And is currently master sport in snatches. Uh, and will say all the time how he hates doing 10-minute sets. So I think that's part of the reason why we came up with the idea of the kettlebell game. So it's just to do something different, do shorter sprint-like sets that weren't necessarily always the normal kettlebell movements that you're used to. Uh, we do try to keep these kettlebell movements. That's why these first two events are jerks and snatches. On his left is Erica Crawford using the double 44s. She also is not new to the kettlebell world. Uh, has been competing about the same time as Garen because Garen's also our coach for our kettlebell team. So on Erica's left is Colin, who is one of our younger competitors today. He's 16. He's using the double 53s and has been working with kettlebells for about three to four months now. And of course, this is his first event, or his first ever kettlebell competition. And next to him is Isa using the double 35s. And this is also her first kettlebell event. And I believe she's been doing kettlebells for... Uh, less time than Colin, I believe, maybe two months. So a uh, couple rookies up there right next to some veterans. So we got about a minute 30 left in the event. So the competitors kind of take a break there and get ready for their last minute. Getting ready now for the last 30 seconds, which is probably going to be a sprint with whatever they have left. Just trying to get as many reps in as possible. And we're coming up with 20 seconds left in this set. And we'll get to the second flight of competitors, which will be Leroy Johnson, Michael X 
Postel, Janice Mooney, and Sean Burke.
All right, here we go in round two. Stage one, right in front of us, Leroy Johnson. Michael Axtell in two, Janice Looney in three, Sean Gregory in four. So what you're watching right here is the jerks. And unlike a normal uh, kettlebell competition, you notice that the competitors can actually put the kettlebells down. What they're trying to do is get as many reps as possible inside of five minutes. So people are being very strategic in this. You'll see somebody bust out five, ten in a row and then put them down. Um, like for me personally, and this is Garen, I was the uh, lightweight pro in the first division. Um, my goal was four to five every 20 seconds. Well, 20 second break in between. Leroy's looking really strong. Michael's looking fantastic. And so for those of you that don't know, a legal rep. Um, this is not like a push press where you actually squat once and then launch the kettlebell. This one, you also notice they're squatting twice. The knees bend twice. It's called the under squat. Then they lock it out. So when they establish... Um, that second knee dip, their arms needs to be locked out. And then completing the rep, they stand all the way up. And then you have the kettlebell jerk. Something that's also different for this event, most kettlebell events, um, the women jerk, but they only do one kettlebell. And here the ladies are going double. So we're halfway into the set. People are working hard. See the sweat falling, dripping, glistening. <laughs> Everyone's trained very hard for this event. Great focus by everybody. tell you as a competitor I wish the last rep felt like the first rep never works out that way <laughs> okay we're about a minute and a half away from getting through uh, flight two Sean and four is having a little fun over there laughing it's always good when you see Competitors still be able to smile and laugh in the middle of their set. Because I tell you, by this point, it pretty much sucks. Painful. <laughs> and if you're just tuning in, once again, you're uh, watching the very first International Kettleball Games. History will be made this weekend. World record set, champions crowned. All right, about 25 seconds away. <laughs> 20 seconds, give it what you got everybody, come on and go. 15! Crowd rooting them on. Woo. 
flight two in the bag. Some fantastic performances right there. Leroy Johnson, Michael Axtell, Jenna Looney, Sean Gregory. All right, so International Kettlebell Games is being brought to you by Creation Supplements, CATS, Kettlebell Algorithm Training System, as well as Homedics. Coming up next, the number one ranked heavyweight kettlebell competitor in the world, John Lesko, will be on one, Debbie Sardou on two, Terry Bratz, three, and Derek Mills on four. Be back in a minute. Two minutes, everybody. Whoa. It's like foaminess growing in there. What is that? <laughs> My pre-workout foamed up. Oh, no, I know what that is. 15. Right? Huh? That was my goal, right? 15. 15 straight? No, that'll put you at five. No. Probably 12. How many reps did you do last time? That's what I was thinking of. Between 65 and 70. Nah, yes. 70 is probably. Well, I know. Do this. Do, do this. Go. Go 12 a time. Yep. On the minute. So in this flight, stage one, we have John Lesko. On two, Debbie Sardou. Three, Terry Bratz. Four, Derek Mills. Ten seconds away from getting flight three underway. And here we go. So we have a 
male pro competitor one, Ian John Lesko, female pro competitor Debbie Sardou, amateur Terry Bratz, and amateur Derek Mills. Right away, you're going to know just how solid John Lesko is. Impeccable form. That's why he's the number one rated heavyweight in the country. Everybody has a strategy, as you see. Taking advantage of being able to put the kettlebells down. Strategies are definitely individualized. Okay, now on with me, special guest Leroy Johnson, who was uh, another pro heavyweight competitor, was in flight two just shortly ago. What's up, man? How's it going, dude? <laughs> it's going pretty good. <laughs> How'd you feel in your set? Uh, pretty good. You know, I tried to average about 10. I went out with my uh, first set to 12. I was like, no, I need to back it back down to 10 to make sure I got in. I wanted, my goal was to hit 50, so I got it. I feel pretty good. Right on. Right on. How was it training for this as opposed to um, other kettlebell um, events? It, it really goes in line a lot because, as you know, I do like the MMA. So it's really uh, helped me feel more in line because right after this, I've got a fight coming up. So uh, to be prepared for this was uh, obviously a lot more as far as like loading and getting ready for the multitude of events, which again applies to fighting, being in different positions. Right on. So now you have a pro fight coming up in Europe soon, right? Yep, in Romania. Are you ready? I feel ready. I feel good. Uh, I'm against some European champions, so we're going to see how I fare with uh, my hard nose style versus uh, their technique. Do you, now, do you feel training for this actually helped you get ready for your fight as well? Absolutely. Like Going back to getting ready to, with the uh, multitude of events and being uh, a little bit more dynamic and uh, getting out of like that regular comfort zone uh, that you're normally in with uh, the kettlebell sport. Right on. <laughs> Right on. All right, so we are about two minutes away from the end of this set. Everybody's still looking very strong. John's form is really looking good right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wish my form was like that. <laughs> As you see with John, it doesn't matter whether it's his first rep, middle rep, and I'm sure at the end, they're all going to be identical. He is a true pro. Yeah, definitely. Seeing some great performances on platform two, three, and four as well. And for those of you out there in the world looking at this and think, oh man, this looks pretty easy. Let me assure you, it's not. <laughs> Whether you put the kettlebells down or not, it pretty much uh, it, it sucks. Yeah, you don't realize how bad that affects you until you're in the middle of that side yeah. and you're like, oh, man. <laughs> All right, one minute away. Less than 60 seconds, get it? Everybody's really pushing hard with this yeah. last minute right now. Right. Now, I expect to see... John just sprinting the whole way this entire time because uh, he's used to doing actually 10 minute sets and if I bet he'll probably won't put the kettlebells down either no no absolutely not he's, he's watching he's got his pacing going right now 20 seconds keep it going With about 10 seconds left, people are going to try to squeak out two to three more reps. Everybody's looking really strong. Fantastic set. So 
this is your your first pro fight, right? This will be my first one coming up, yeah. So. That's because in the U.S., no one wants to fight you. I'm <laughs> scared. <laughs> it happens. It's hard yeah, being from right. an amateur from Michigan, I know. <laughs> All right, right on. <laughs> All right, we'll be back shortly. And uh, bring on different guests, different competitors, pick their brains a little bit. Once again, you're watching International Kettlebell Games 2013. And you know this man. <laughs> Watch out, yeah, be careful in the back.
Okay, so I'm back. Right now we're in uh, flight four. Got Matt Metzger on one, Trinisha Fuller on two, Juanita Evans on three, and Steve Stahl on four. So it looks like we have a semi-pro in the male division with Matt Metzger, Tunisia semi-pro, ladies division. Do I need an amateur lightweight? And Steve, amateur lightweight as well. So, so far through the four flights, uh, you'll see everybody has been taking advantage of being able to put the kettlebells down. There's not too many U.S. competitors that can actually recover in the rack position. So it makes more sense to put them down and try to recover as much as possible. Great concentration by everybody. Seeing forms that vary a little bit. Some people are a lot quicker in the legs. Some people really accentuate the under squat by holding it a little bit longer and getting a little bit deeper. Like Juanita, very technically sound. Perfect reps every time. Holding the under squat a little bit longer than some of the other competitors. Not that that's an advantage or anything, it's just a difference. For instance, if you have somebody who is very strong and powerful, they might not have to squat as deep in the under squat. But a competitor that is not as strong can take advantage by dropping down deeper. We're about 20 seconds away. Seeing people sprint out. Here we go. People working hard. Coming on the wire. Four seconds to go. Great set. Fantastic set. So that was the end of flight four. Flight five coming up. On one is going to be uh, semi-pro Craig Sylvester. Semi-pro Maureen Dujardin. Amateur Beth Bomia. And amateur Alan Adjame. All right, once again, if you're tuning in, you're watching the International Kettlebell Games, the very first one being brought to you by Creation Supplements, CATS, Kettlebell Algorithm Training System, as well as Homedics. This is the very first one, very first kettlebell competition of this kind. So you're watching history being made. As I like to say, another 
playground for us kettlebell swingers to play in. <laughs> and we'll be back shortly. We got flight five underway right now. Right in front of the camera. Pro Am Craig Sylvester, right next to him. Pro Am Maureen Dujanin. We got Beth Bomia, Alan Ajime. Craig is looking very strong right now. If I was to bet, he's probably doing 10 or 12 in a row and then taking a break. You can hear the breathing being very audible. That's very important. Breathing often during a set like this under load helps to keep the heart rate down. He helps to keep the blood pressure down. Yeah, Maureen. Maureen looking very strong. I tell you what else is awesome about this is that in between your uh, your sets your five, ten reps, whatever it is. You can re-chalk your hands. 
Helps give you a better connection to the bell. So I tell you what's pretty cool. Doing good, Ben. And lane four, Alan Ajame. 58 years old, just started training in kettlebell sport about two months ago. And here he is at the kettlebell games. I've been literally about three weeks ago. He couldn't even jerk the 44s once. <laughs> He's looking great, as everyone is. Everybody's looking very relaxed. Okay, we're under two minutes left in this set. So now on the mic is uh, fellow producer and founder, yeah. Matthew Phillips. What do you think so far, man? Uh, it's going smooth. Um, it's going smooth. No major hiccups, which is always a good thing to be for your first competition, putting it on. Uh, so, looking good so far. The computer technical gods are being friendly to us. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Testing always helps. Everyone's looking good, so. I think mentally being able to put the bell down and rest really helps. So now we're under 30 seconds left. Pain at the T tends to set in at this point. So people are just going to grind it out at this point. Come on, Chris! Four seconds to go. Good job, everybody. All right. Good job. Flight five is done. All right, six coming up next. Rock Cox will be on one. Sandy Franca, two. Jonathan Garling on three. And four will be blank.
give you this one because you might not this one's not you can't hear me but okay. this one you can hear but it'll be a little bit of a delay so hopefully that won't confuse you okay, okay. <laughs> all right so now we're getting uh what is this flight six on the way we got rock hawks solid athlete on one sandy franca brand new to the sport on two and right now in the box with me i have world famous john lesko john what's happening man hey not too much just uh really enjoying this competition here and man, I tell you what, watching you compete is just awe-inspiring, man. I mean, it's like your first rep looked like your very last rep. You did sweat a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So it showed me that you were human. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am mortal. <laughs> so me also going for the uh, dominant male, you know, I was hoping that, like, you know, uh, and, and, and as a compare that John slipped just a little bit, but he uh, clearly kicked butt all the way through it. So right now he's at about a 36 percent um, uh, co-efficiency I'm at 29 so now I'm in a position where I'm ca trying to catch up to you man <laughs> thanks a lot man <laughs> sorry so did you train for this any different because I know you came off a competition uh, last 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 week right yeah last weekend I had the um, aka nationals right and you and you kicked butt in that as well I uh, yeah reset two uh, national records that's fantastic man congratulations Thank to that you. So, were you training for this as well alongside that, or did you just pretty much, just, you know, keep your main training and then... I kept my main training. I did my second Turkish get-up of the year this week. Okay, okay. So, there's been no training for this at all. Okay. I'm scared of tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know, I'm sure not too scared, because I tell you what, he's just a solid flipping athlete, and I'm really honored that you actually showed up for this. You know, I was telling people earlier that you're, you know, clearly the number one rated um, heavyweight kettlebell competitor that the, the U.S. has out there and so now you this last event that you did actually qualified you to compete in Europe or something right is that is that yes. what it is um, I qualified for um, Team USA yeah um, and that'll um, enable me to travel to Russia this uh, November fantastic are yes. you making the trip man yes right on I'm going that is going to be hot that is going to be hot so I'm really surprised to rock didn't jump in the pro division as strong as he is. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking he was definitely one of the ones yeah. in the pro division. He's been doing this a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it was it was interesting because when he signed up as pro am, I knew Craig did the same thing. And I thought it, as we got closer, those guys were training that they were going to switch over, yeah. but they never did. But that you know that just goes to show you that this is way different than a normal kettlebell event. Right. You know what I mean? So your strength here, if you've been training jerks, snatches, things like that, those are going to continue to be your strengths. But some of these other things, you know what I mean? It's right. like. Good job, good job. And Rock is looking solid right yeah, now. Yeah, very much so. I was surprised about the women here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for double bell work, these women are looking good. No fear, man. No, no. fear, you know? 
And I know everybody's been really training hard, preparing for this. So what do you think about the event so far? I know we've only been one event under, but... I think, it's, I think this is one of the funnest events I've ever been to. Right on. It's a lot different. Um, once you've been to a lot of kettlebell competitions, you know, really the same. Yeah. Same thing, same yeah. movements and everything. This puts a really uh, fun spin on everything. Yeah, right on. And that's what we were going for. Like I said, we're just wanting to start a new playground for us kettlebell enthusiasts uh, to play around in, you know? And we're competing against different people. Yeah, absolutely. Because in a traditional kettlebell, me, me and you would never... Right, yeah, yeah, for sure, people. for sure. So I suspect for the 2014 one, um, already a lot of interest. I know a lot of people are tuning in to watch this one. Um, a lot of my friends, when we first announced this, were all gun ho about it. They started their training, and they realized how hard the training was going to be and much different. And they kind of got scared and backed out and wanted to see how this was going to be. Yeah. So I got, a, yeah, I got a feeling a lot more diesel people are going to be jumping into this one. You know, I know that like even like, uh, David Tabane from Australia, some of the yeah. Russian guys have yeah. shown interest. You know, and maybe we'll uh, get, you know be able to attract those individuals. Definitely 2014 is going to be a much bigger event. Um, we've got two prelims or two qualifiers leading up to this. Um, and I'm sure, too, after this is over, you're going to have a lot of positive feedback. Yeah, we hope. That's the hope, anyway. Which, which, right. Yeah. I mean, it's running smooth so far. It's yeah. smoother than any right. kettlebell meet I've been to. So you're going to get a lot of positive feedback, and word of mouth is going to get around, and I'm sure next year is going to right really on. explode. Right on. So what's what's next on the on the horizon for you, man? Are you doing the worlds here in November? I'm, I'm, IKFF? I'm doing, nope. Because three days later. Oh, it's literally the Russian right. Okay, right on. So John, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank and give a shout out to? Um, definitely um, on it. Uh, nutrition supplements, uh, they've been really good to me. Uh, Kettle Guard and uh, Two Pood uh, Performance Apparel right on. have been magnificent to me. Right on. I, I'm, I'm so happy and thankful for all um, sponsors that are reaching out and actually starting to support the kettlebell industry and kettlebell world. This is going to get better and better. Up. I know it really is, man. And that makes me smile. All right, my friend, good luck in the next set. Right. Um, I'm going to try to go at you. <laughs> in, my, in, in my mind, this whole time, it's like David versus Goliath. The Goliaths. <laughs> <laughs> I got big shoes to try to fill, man, going against you and Leroy, man. But uh, I welcome the challenge, man. Great. Good luck in everything. Good luck in Russia, man. You're a great guy. Top notch. All right. Thanks a lot, All right. Karen. Thanks, John. We're about to get into uh, Flight 7 of the Jerks. Okay. Um, and then it's been going really smooth. I'm going to take a, I'm gonna stop the clock just to start setting up the snatches. Um, but then literally it's been five minutes, five minute break. It's going on time. So people have been on time. Fantastic. Um, everything's looking good. We're broadcasting every time a set goes. I keep giving shouts out to the, um, the, the, the sponsors. So what I'll do is I'm used to this now. So this headset's not working for some reason. Um, you can't hear anything. But I'll give you this one so you can hear what's, what's happening. And then we'll just, you and I will just talk back and forth and just about everything else. But um, And this is going to be connected right to the live stream. Yeah, right now it is. Actually, it's, as you can see behind you, it's right now. Um, nice. Yeah. So, so John kicked my ass in the, in the first round. What, what was the first round? Uh, double jerk. So he put up 65. Yeah. And I put up 34. So it 20, even though I still PR a little bit as far as my percentage. He's at 36% coefficient at 29, and I gotta fucking try to catch him and snatch him. <laughs> I gotta try to catch the man. It's a great turn on. Yeah, it was one hell of a step there. Dude, you were killing it, man. I knew you were gonna kill it, though. You look fantastic. 32s, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice. No, I'm 16. 16s, you know. <laughs> You're like eights. Yeah. Eights. Alright, so we're gonna get ready for snatching. That was pretty fun. Let's see what we got here. Do the guys from Creation too, man. Oh, okay. Nice. That was this rock. Jerk snatch medley.
Hey, how's it going, Rack? All right, how you doing? Good, man. Good? Good? Yeah, just uh, just got here just a little bit ago, so how was, uh, so you just had your first set? Yeah. And that was uh, the, what, the, the five, jerk. five minute double jerk? Yeah. Uh-huh. I got 73. 73 with the 24s? Yeah. Nice. Excellent, man. So, yeah. That was a originally thing I was like, oh, let's try the whole time, and I saw everybody sitting down, including John. I was like, all right. Yeah, that's going to be interesting because that produces a completely different strategy. Because we know you don't have to maintain the rack. I mean, you can just hold the whole time. Spread, yeah. put them down, let them get the blood going again, especially in the elbows. I just went as long as I could, and if it was starting to go, I put it down as long as I could and go back at it. Well, nice. So, how much longer before your next event? I think there's what, like an hour, hour. in between? Exactly yeah. an hour. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, there were going to be a half hour if we had more people, but we decided to lump everyone since we're only basically 27. And then somebody came back out last night, 26. I don't know if we're going to show up there tomorrow just to compete. Here, come on up, Ken. Oh, you got it. I'll let you take that. There's a little bit of a delay. All right, so now we're getting ready for the final flight of the jerks. On one, we have Billy Jackson, two, Brian Rose, uh, three, uh, Nasser Bandun. And a four, Denise Hanna. And man, I tell you what, kettlebell world and world out there, you guys are privileged because I got the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Blackburn on the microphone now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for having me, Garen. <laughs> so this, the event's been going pretty smooth right now. There's been a lot of great competitors, a lot of great sportsmanship. Um, and for those who don't know Billy, I'm going to tell you right, Billy, you're here in one, is a straight comedian. <laughs> One of the strongest untechnical guys I know. <laughs> so once again, if you're just tuning in, you're watching the International Kettlebell Games 2013. And uh, if you're a normal kettlebell sport uh, practitioner, what you're going to see shortly is in this particular event, it's a five-minute sprint, and people actually can put the kettlebells down, <coughs> taking advantage of trying to uh, recover as much as possible, unlike a regular kettlebell sport event where you have to maintain the rack the whole time. But the bottom line is you're still trying to accumulate uh, as many reps as you can inside of five minutes. So, so what do you think so far, Ken? No, this is really interesting. And now, have you kind of found that the competitors are taking advantage of, they can put the bells down, and how frequently are they doing it? Or are some people just trying to maintain the rack? What are some of the different strategies you're seeing? Right, yeah, and, and that is it. I mean, some people who are uh, very strong um, and have a lot of stamina, you'll see them bust out 10 to 12 at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas other people, uh, like myself, I, in a perfect world one day, I'll be able to do 10 in a row and then do that for <laughs> four or five sets. But I'm not quite there yet. So for me, my strategy was do five or six in the first and then do fours the rest of the time. And if I had anything left in the tank, bust that out. But I was trying to maintain it every 20 seconds, 20, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off type strategy, which it worked for me. I still was able to PR on how many reps I put up, um, even though it wasn't nearly enough to, uh, to, <laughs> to catch uh, John Lesko, who I knew was going to do some astronomical numbers. Now, was John, was he, uh, was he utilizing the being able to put the bells down? Or he did absolutely he? did, yeah. Yeah, he sure did. And, it, and with him doing 65, it looked like he was busting out about 12 per... Um, every time he picked the bells up, he was hitting about 12 or so, and that would have put him at 60, and then he sprinted out at the end and put him down at all. Um, and he looked fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure John loved that. I'm sure a lot of the competitors like it because it's not so rack dependent. Right. And so you're going to see certain body types that are going to love this type of setup. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was explaining earlier that, um, you know, unless unless you're a Russian competitor or someone where you're basically born lifting kettlebells, you know, right from the womb, you know, <laughs> getting used to having those kettlebells under load, most Americans, and I'll, say, I'll put it out there, maybe 95% of Americans, maybe even higher than that, truly can't recover under the bells and rack like a Russian competitor can, you know what I mean? They, they literally can recover between sets um, fully, it appears, you know? Mm-hmm. It's also interesting to see what people are going to be doing while they're recovering. Yeah. So they're just going to breathe, they're going to move around. 
You know, I think as we see this event grow, we're going to see different strategies come into place. Of course, different mechanics. <laughs> We're under two minutes left in this last flight of the jerks. And like I mentioned earlier, unlike uh, normal kettlebell events, even though IKFF is now starting to debut um, double kettlebell jerks for the ladies, um, in, this, in the international kettlebell games, the ladies will always be competing with two bells. So now we can share the pain with the ladies. <laughs> So literally, I'll tell you something funny about Billy Jackson on one right here. You know, he mm -hmm. came <laughs> yesterday. He came to me and was like, "Okay, so like uh, again, how do I, what, how do I do jerks?" <laughs> the day before the competitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top so, ten things okay. not to say the day before you jerk. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but I will say this: what he lacks in technical technical aspects he is a very very strong athlete yeah he's getting an a plus for tenacity and conditioning yeah everybody's looking great all right we're approaching the 30 second mark here we go 30 seconds get everybody in all right you're gonna see people giving it what they got now Last 20 seconds or so of the first exercise. Good, strong. Everybody's looking fantastic. Five seconds left. And we are done. Good flight. Fantastic flight. Great efforts. This is the International Kettlebell Games 2013 being brought to you by Creation Supplements, CATS, Kettlebell Algorithm Training System, as well as Home Medics. Oh, guess what, Ken? I'm up next, man. I got to start warming up for the snatches. Oh, you got it, brother. I'll be saying all good things when you're up there. <laughs> all right, man. All right. <laughs>